In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you a way in which you can copy many of the attributes of one graphic image into more when you want to save time and not have to modify each of them individually. So I have this video. It's a gal at her laptop and we want to do some graphic image overlays. So let's take the piggy bank to start with and put that on track number two. I'm going to start by simply resizing it. We'll change it down to about this size and we'll reposition it, move it about here. Let's change some things about it beyond that. I'm going to double click. It gets me into my controls. I'm going to change the border by clicking here on border control and I'm going to click shadow. Now the border control can be very large or very small. Let's put this maybe at a five and the shadow control, I don't want a d deep shadow. May let's make it maybe 63%. Now this is what I want to do in that control under border and shadow. Let's also change position size and flip. I'm going to change it here and I can use the dial to choose my rotation degrees or I can type a number in. Let me just type in 15, press enter, and that's what I want on this one. So now I have all those attributes changed in this control. So let's take the other two images I'm going to use, drag them down to the timeline. If I click on any of them, I see I would have to change all those things over again, but we're going to save some time. I'm going to click back on my piggy bank, click with the right mouse button, and then choose Copy Keyframe Attributes. I'm going to highlight the other two, right click and choose paste keyframe attributes. Now if I look on either of them they have inherited the value of size, position, and rotation from the other. You notice they don't have the border and the shadow but there's a somewhat easy way to do that. I'm, and we'll click on it. All I have to do is go to border and shadow and just click and activate them and they remember the last controls. The opacity is still 63, the size of the border is still 5. And so I can do that to the other one and click on border and shadow and it inherits the controls it remembers. It will not remember color but it will remember the sliders that are there. So that's a quick way to start with one element, do some modification to it, and then take the other graphic objects and make them somewhat uniform when you want them to be identical as much as possible in CyberLink PowerDirector.